Okay, in this episode, I want to talk about creating a solid foundation for your web APIs. Many of our episodes cover details of the API itself, designing it, implementing it. This time, I want to talk about the back end, and that means creating flexible, agile, reliable, and secure back ends for your APIs. So there are four things. I want to talk about connector versus component. So components are your private uh, implementation details. Connectors are the public conversation with those components, and we'll talk about the difference between those two. We'll talk about a representation service. There are lots of different ways to represent the same bit of data. HTTP is very unique in this, and it's important to have a solid representation service. When we talk about caching, very often we, we, we think of clients talking directly to servers, but of course there's an internet in between. That can either be a real performance bottleneck, or it can be an advantage, depending on whether or not you're using caching. And then we'll touch on security. Even though we're in a web API, not using WS star, security is still very, very important. We need the same bits and pieces that we always had before. So let's talk about this notion of components and connectors. So components are things like your database, your file system, your queuing service, any of the pre-built uh, modules that you have, even your source code. These are all specific implementation details for your system. They know how to talk to each other. That's a little different than the code you would write for a browser, for a web server, any proxy or DNS tools you have, even phones. These rely on connector services. They rely on speaking common languages like HTTP and FTP and XMPP. It's important to keep these implementation details separate. For example, the code you write for your web server is, is really designed to speak to lots of other devices on the public internet. The code you write for your components are designed specifically to speak to the tools that you have available to you. Keep them separate, keep them focused. That way it's much easier to interchange them later on. And that leads us to this notion of a representation service. Very often your component talks to your database and eventually produces some uh, representation like the sales figures. And that needs to be shared with lots of different devices on the public internet. But those devices need that sales information represented differently. Browsers may prefer to see HTML. Rich desktop clients may want to see XML. Phones may want to see JSON. So it's important to have a representation service that's designed specifically to negotiate the representation details with clients and then use that uh, data in, that you have in your system to represent it properly. A representation service can be a proxy, it can be something you build yourself, but it's important to have that because representation happens at the connector level. Then we can talk about caching. Now, if you look inside most clients, what you'd find are lots and lots of saved representations from previous conversations. These are cached copies. And they're cached because instead of just simply serving a 200 OK, the server infrastructures actually told the client, you can keep this, for example, for six minutes, or you can keep this until the version on the server has changed. We can talk more about the implementation details in another episode, but it's important to include a caching layer, usually in the form of a caching proxy, in your infrastructure. It's also important to keep in mind that clients inside an enterprise may also be talking to a cache, and of course there are caches all over the internet. Caching happens everywhere, and it's important to take advantage of it. If you don't, your application really runs slowly. Okay, for security, this is the same as any application. Access keys to get to an application, authentication uh, processes to make sure you know who the user is, inspecting each request to make sure that that user is authorized, and even the idea of encrypting either field level or message level information. Now this is all pretty sophisticated stuff. You want to get this right. And the smartest way to do this is to use a dedicated layer or service for this. Writing all this code in each application is not only inefficient, but it's likely to cause mistakes. So it's a good idea to use a security proxy or some other tool to handle all these details for you. So you've got this notion of security, and security happens at the edge, at the proxy level. That's much more efficient to do that. You've got the idea of caching, which happens everywhere. You need to inform every response with caching information. This notion of using a representation service to efficiently negotiate with every client that makes a request. 
And then this notion of keeping components and connectors separate on your implementation to make it much easier to be flexibly change things from time to time. Flexible, agile, reliable, and secure foundations for your APIs. That's the key.